platforms over water, eh? Claire's newly heightened senses told her that there were multiple paths across with various possible configurations of the little posse. doing really well. Claire hoped she could get them all across. John was fully aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. needed to be where there were rectangles to save. Being the only superhero in a given space kind of defeats the object. Spikes? It was new. Claire avoided them. She decided they were most likely her kryptonite. Not the rubbish red kryptonite either, the proper radioactive green stuff. time Thomas was here. Claire felt something had gone wrong. There was a disturbance in the force. Something had altered the matrix. The world was reacting to their progress. It was amassing its forces. It was plotting against them. Claire finally had a nemesis. Thank you. 
Laura was pleased this one was behind a wall. Maybe he'd never know what she could do. Maybe, maybe they could just have a conversation, hang out. As long as he didn't find out what she could do, which would never happen so long as they stayed separate. didn't have time to worry about the ominous pixel cloud. It had been following her for some time and it had kept itself to itself until now. More important was the little orange thing, which was looking at her in a way that she kind of, well, liked. the square, who had shyly introduced himself as Chris, bounced atop Laura, she began to worry that he was just using her like all the others had. They'd all bounce too, and then they disappeared when her back was turned. The ominous pixel cloud ever remains, looking a little bigger and a little less hungry with every disappearing friend. With every bounce, Laura found herself less and less irritated by Chris. She started to miss him when he wasn't there, on another platform or something. in love. She was perfect. He had to tell her so. At some point, he would definitely tell her. Probably best to wait for a moment the large, ominous pixel cloud wasn't about, though. Yeah, probably best to wait.
this, was massively disappointed to run into the gang again. He'd enjoyed the alone time with his new girlfriend. If I say it out loud, he told himself. He didn't want to scare her off. suspicious of Laura and the eager looking pixel cloud of death which seemed to be watching her. Sure they'd use her inherent bounciness to reach slightly higher jump points but they wouldn't strike up a conversation with her. Chris found them rude. Rude and always there. wouldn't drop it. Who's that cloud guy? Why is he following us? What's that rumbling hungry sound he keeps making? Chris, can we just leave Laura behind? Thank <laughs> you. 
gang. She liked Chris. She liked having friends. These ones seem to be sticking around too. Not like those losers from before. gang. She liked Chris. She liked having friends. These ones seem to be sticking around too. Not like those losers from... <laughs> Laura liked her new gang. She liked Chris. She liked having friends. These ones seem to be sticking around too. Not like those losers from before.
liked her new gang. She liked Chris. She liked having friends. These ones seemed to be sticking around too. Not like those losers from before. It was spending more and more time hovering around. Laura could tell it was making the others uncomfortable. Thank <laughs> you. 